Welcome, gang, to Cyril's Place Channel. I'm Coach Cass. No, you're not. Go away. Go away. The hired help around here. Hi, I'm the real Coach Cass. He, that's T-Rex, and hopefully he'll become extinct soon enough and we won't have these problems. But today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do low-line actions. We have a special request from Nancy Vargas up in Boston at the Academy of Boston Fencing. So here's for you. Now, the low-line parry, you have two options. And we're going to move our pool noodles in such a way that we can do it, as you can see behind me. The key thing for doing these drills is positioning your pool noodles in such a way that you can do this for yourself. You might have to be a little creative. You might have to lift up the pool noodles or move them a little bit there, here or there. That's what tape is for, as well as other things. So grab your fencing equipment, grab your fencing shoes, grab your spirit of being a champion, not necessarily with champion's resources, but with a heart of champion, and let's train our low line parry eight. So I've got myself set up to practice my parry eight. You'll notice I have two tubes today. One for my low line to practice my eight. One for my high line, which would be my six. Why? So you can see the difference. If I were to walk into my tubes, you can see where they would be hitting me. One, the purple in a low line, and the high one or yellow one in the high line. So I could even do parry eight, Repost, parry six, repost. Combinations like that. And start working on more complex defenses. But today, we're going to focus on the parry eight. What are our distances to practice in? Extension, advance, lunge, advance, lunge. We're not going to do advance, lunge because typically, not always, typically, if some, once you make a defensive action, you're not going to need an advanced lunge to hit somebody, because if you do, they're too far away. And we probably, not necessarily always, but we probably need to set something else up to land an offensive action. So right now, we're going to just do the eights, but you can see where the six parry would need to be. I get my extension distance. How many repetitions should I make? 20 good repetitions is about right. Good on guard? One. Two, three. Here's a view in slow motion as you see me take the blade and then hit. Here are a couple of different views so you can see different angles of taking the blade in an eight. Key is to take your opponent's blade with yours, rotate your blade towards theirs, close it out, and then finish with that repost. Optimally, you want to minimize how much hand action and maximize how much finger action for moving your blade. The more hand motion, will telegraph to your opponent what you're doing. Once we've done extensions, we want to move back to do an extension with an advance. Move the noodle as necessary and use your feet to help push in the point. Beware of T-Rexes with blue facial covers and fly swatter sabers will take over your space and do your drill. So watch your backs. So back to that advanced extension. Again, the hand nice and easy. Fingers take, extend, have your feet finish and push it in. For cleanliness of skill, make sure your point is aimed exactly where it wants to go before you start your feet. This will help train precision when you get on strip with your opponent. Here's yet another view to watch. Once we're satisfied with our set of 20 at extension advanced distance, let's move back. You might need to move the chair and do 20 with the lunge. Again, fingers nice and easy. Take, extend, finish. Okay, now that we've done the low line eight parry, we learned that we can protect ourselves from the shorter fencers. 
like that little pipsqueak, Coach Cass. So, until next time, if you like us, subscribe to us, have fun, and fence like a champion. All right, so now that we've learned the